Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being here and thank you for watching the previous videos. You guys have been asking and I try to put up what you ask for and just give you content that you want. So thank you so, so much for doing that. Turn your notification bell on you all so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do have a regular schedule now and I've been doing very well with it. Thanks to you all for watching what I put up. So Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays are are our days where new videos go up so make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss the uploads I also do pop-ups and if you guys have seen I do these little quick 15 second or 60 second uh, clips so check those out as well I see that you guys like those too so just thank you I do have to say that because I keep coming back because you guys ask for stuff and I, I really try to bring you what you need we are talking today about getting that phlebotomy job because yes it is so difficult to do but there are only two things two things that you really need to do to get your first phlebotomy job and i'm going to break it down for you right now number one so simple please apply for everything that you see within reason in your area 10 minutes away, 40 minutes away, an hour away, apply for every position that you see. Do you know how many people are applying for the same positions, right? So how many people are not applying for those positions far away, a little further drive out? You may be the one that they need. You may be the one that they give that chance to because you're willing to travel, okay? You gotta think outside the box because some employers will hire you if you're willing to commute further, less hours, just to get your foot in the door. If you need full time, but you're like, you know what, I really want to do this, go apply for that part time position, that PRM position, weekends only. You have to start somewhere. Everybody wants the full time, correct? Everybody wants days, correct? Apply for nights. Apply for night shift. Wow. Go ahead and apply for nights. Get your foot in the door. I don't know how else to say it. You're going to have to apply for every position that you see available in your area. And you are going to have to make sacrifices because although they're looking for experience, some of them will accommodate and give you a chance because you do have number one, You've been certified from a school. You, you went to school for it, correct? Yes. You did well, correct? Yes. Okay. And you are ASCP or NHA certified, right? Wow. So this looks good. This looks good because we haven't had anyone else come through with these credentials. So what we can do, Miss Green, is we can start you off on weekends only if you like. And then after your three month evaluation, we can go from there. What? I'm telling you, stuff like this happens. These things happen. So I need you, need you, need you to do that. If it's PRN, take it. If it's weekends only, take it. If it's nice, girl, take it and just work it out. Okay, make it happen. I didn't think I would be able to do nights, but then once I started nights, I was like, okay, you get night, night shift differential, you get weekend differential, okay, you get evening shift differential. Y'all, there are so many ways to work this in your favor. So please, please, please apply for everything that you see every time, um, slot, schedule, whatever the place has, just apply for it and, and see what happens. And also don't forget about the American Red Cross. They train and hire as well. So please don't forget about them. Let's let the helicopter go by. Do that and I promise you doors will begin to open for you. Second, last but not least, I know, I know, I know. You want to do phlebotomy. That's what you're applying for. But let me tell you, let me tell you what else you need to be doing, okay? Now that you've applied for all those phlebotomy positions and Crystal, I did the PRN, the blah, 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 blah. I did all of that and no one's calling. Now you have to look for job related, I'm sorry. You have to look for lab related positions, okay? 
laboratory customer service. Ever thought of that? You're, you're a certified phlebotomist. You know about drawing blood and you know what they're calling down to the lab for? What color tube is a CBC? Can you transfer me to hematology? This is what laboratory customer service does. They correspond with doctors, nurses, any and everybody, other labs, clinics, patients. You would be like the front line for the laboratory, not only are you qualified to do this, you're learning a different skill. So when that position opens as a phlebotomist, you're in the right place at the right time. You're already there. And if a phlebotomy position comes available, you've got first dibs. So apply for customer service, write it down. Cus laboratory, laboratory customer service, not just customer service. When you go to Indeed or grad Glass, what is that, the other one, Glassdoor, type in laboratory customer service and see what pops up. Try that. The other thing I need you to do and the other position I need you to apply for, I mentioned it second, but it's by no means the least on this list of two. It is, and you guys already know, specimen processing. What you are doing is you're responsible for processing these labs, making sure that they are in lab and making sure that they get to the department in which they are supposed to be. So please, you all, I don't know what else to say or how else to say it other than step outside your boxes because a lot of us have this tunnel vision that no, I went to school for phlebotomy. I want my phlebotomy position, my phlebotomy position. But you have to, you have to sacrifice you have to step outside your box and do something different, do something else. Laboratory customer service and specimen processing. When you are searching for these positions, type phlebotomy, that's one way to look. Laboratory customer service, that's another way to look. Specimen processing, that's another way to look. And laboratory technicians slash lab techs because some places now are kind of uh, putting lab tech and phlebotomy duties together. So they're hiring phlebotomists for those positions. And a lab tech can do everything from answer the phones to just help in the lab. But you're a phlebotomist. So yes, please, please, please guys, don't, don't, don't not do these things um, because I know a lot of you are struggling some folks are like, girl, it's been a year, it's been two years, and I still don't have a job yet. This is probably why you're only applying for phlebotomy. I need you to do something different. And in order to do something different, you got to think different. You got to prepare yourselves and just go ahead and put yourselves out there for something greater because that's pretty much what's going to happen if you get something other than a phlebotomy position. Something greater is going to happen. You're going to get that position that you want or you may end up in processing and you're like, oh, okay. You can do both because when you're processing, sometimes girl, phlebotomy is called out what they need help okay you can stick right your phlebotomist right mm -hmm. girl we need you to stick i'm telling you what i know i'm telling you what has happened to me and what i've seen in the field so please don't sleep on it you guys those are the two things the two best things i can recommend you do in order to get the position that you want so yes thumbs up share like comment please let me know in the section below what you think if you've tried it, are you gonna try it, and let me know what happens, okay? Thank y'all for watching, and let me know what you wanna see next, and I'll get it up for you, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> see y'all then, bye.